Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today, it's the home opener for this new season between the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota Twins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you into another edition of Major League Baseball coverage on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. You know, I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run. So as the season gets started, it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot, it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Kenta Maeda gets the ball for the opener in front of these hometown fans. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, looking at the numbers, you can see this guy had an ERA over four last season. He'd like to do a lot better than that. He's got to do a much better job of keeping base runners off the bases. Cut the walks down and try to limit the hits per nine innings pitch. The left fielder. Now at the Eddie. plate, Eddie James. He comes in right on the heels of driving in five runs in yesterday's ball game. First pitch coming, here it is. Swung on and crushed. Everyone just stands there and watches it fly. Two-run blast to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him, and the Twins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. Striding forward now is the DH, now Jonathan VR. He'll swing it from the left Jonathan side right here. VR. McCann is off of first with two away. Lifted in the air out to left. James is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. White Sox leave one. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Digging in to try it again, Eddie now James. He hit a two-run jack Eddie. in his first at-bat. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First delivery to him on the way. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first out. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Luis Robert, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. 
James is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. White Sox pick up just the one. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Twins four and the White Sox two. Eddie James will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. From the stretch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back the right fielder. And that one is gone! So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. His second of the game. And the lead is now 7-2. So to the plate is the White Sox DH. Jonathan Villar, previous meetings with Jake Odorizzi, he's got a batting average of 444. Here it comes, 0-2. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie James. He's gone deep twice in the game, making him two for four. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that's through for a hit. Nice swing. Good hit, kid. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, Max Kepler. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Ready on one and two. He pulls this one into right. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw into third. Slide, 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 slide. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. Now it'll be the Minnesota DH, Alex Kirilov. Two base hitter. hits, both singles to this point. Runners are at first and third, one away. Runners off for second. Taken for strike three, the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. Eight to three is today's final. Minnesota get the win on the heels of four home runs. Kenta Maeda gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Trevor May records four outs on his way to the save his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious twins eight runs on 16 hits no errors they left 50. MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota Twins Twins baseball comes your way next.
Devin Smeltzer, a southpaw from New Jersey, gets the starting gig in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you think this guy's tough to hit? Take a look at that ERA in the low twos last season. If he pitches like that again this year, he's going to be awfully tough. He's going to be fun to watch in this one. Set to get his day started, Got Nick Madrigal. And it's been a real defense. struggle for him Nick. with the bat so far this year, Madrigal. looking to get things turned around in a hurry. In the air out to left. James is right there and he's got it for out number two. Digging in the switch hitter Eddie James he'll get to take his first cuts here. Eddie. And now pitch on the way. Yeah, nice Line hit. drive, and that's a base hit into center field. He has success with two out, and the bottom of the first stays moving. And he is in there. So a struggle that time for him in center field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's going, he's and going. now the runner's trying for third. Come Got him side. swinging, yeah, and that will end the inning. So nothing in the Minnesota first. We'll head to the second from target field. No score here on the show. Ready now for the White Sox, Yoan Moncada. The third baseman, Yoan Moncada. Here's the 0-1. Ani pops it up. You go, you go, you got it. Polanco will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Standing in, Eddie James. Two on, two out for him here in the third. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. Dig, 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 dig. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the end. So here's Yuan Moncada. Comes now into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Yuan Moncada. In the air out to left. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Settling in now, Luis now Robert. Back. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Luis Robert. The 1 2. And now a swing and a ball hit in the air out to left field. James is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Danger averted following the two out double. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon. Up next for Chicago, Max Muncy will start off the fifth in this one. First baseman, Max Muncy. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Back on it is the left fielder, gone to lead off the inning. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast, what of the. So a runner on second with one down now. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Anderson. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Ready for another shot now. Eddie James, one for two on his line so far in the game. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Boom goes the dynamite. time to start pitching around this guy he's hit three home runs already in the series I'm not sure what more they need to see but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to into the box now Bobby now, now, now. Waring the right fielder Bobby Waring. the one two smoke the other way high and deep to left racing back the left fielder gone
at the plate. Eddie James, two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Yeah, that, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call Come that on, a wall hard, scrape on his last go AB, hard. but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. And the runner scores from second as they chip into the that deficit boy, here. You know what I like right there, Dan, is the batter's approach. Not trying to do too much, just taking it right back up the chute again, staying within himself, and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him an RBI. Now that's a good piece of it. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that... So here's the cleanup hitter, Elo Jimenez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Jimenez. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox, but they lead it by a margin of 9-3. to three. Stepping up now, Eddie James. He came through with an no RBI field, single in his last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Line hard toward right center. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That gets down, and the inning will continue. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup, and that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, now but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Back. Come on, baby. Get your pitch up there. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four-pitch walk here. And this is the right move here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Into the box, Mitch Garver looking to cut into that big deficit they've got in front of them. Garver. Final strike for the Twins. Swing and get a miss and struck out, him out. out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, a hitter must feel hopeless against that kind of guess. That final pitch was a 100 mile an hour fastball, and this thing is over. And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. Chicago led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Caleb Smith earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon.